Hello and welcome back to Women's Football Talk, the YouTube channel that brings you all the latest news and stories from around the world of women's football. Now before we get into today's video, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the post notification bell once you have done so, so you are notified when we upload all our videos to the channel and you never miss a video. So today we are doing a Champions League preview. So as you may or may not know, the Champions League has been reformatted this year. In previous years, it would just be done as like a knockout stage tournament where two teams would meet and then it would go further and further down until we had reached the final. However, from this season onwards, we will have a new group stage format, which has already been drawn and the first set of ties will take play this week. So it, how it works now is we are split into four groups of four. And the top two teams in each group will then advance to the quarterfinals, which will take place in March. And then the semifinals and final will take place uh, later on in the year. So if we just take a quick rundown of the groups. So in Group A, we have Chelsea, Wolfsburg, Juventus and Servette Chenoa of Switzerland, uh, Italy, Germany and England, respectively. Then in Group B, we have Paris Saint-Germain, Breda Blick, Real Madrid and Zyotlot Blood won Kharkiv of Ukraine, Spain, Iceland and France respectively. In Group C we have Barcelona, Arsenal, 1899 Hoffenheim and Koga. Koga are of Denmark, Hoffenheim are of Germany and Arsenal and Barcelona obviously of England and Spain. And then in the final group we have Bayern Munich, Lyon, BK Hacken and Benfica. So... Uh, Benfica of Portugal, BK Hacken of Sweden, Lyon of France and Bayern Munich obviously of Germany. So then group stages will be played, um, teams will play either on the 5th of October or the 6th for their opening games um, with the majority being played on uh, the 6th this weekend. Uh, so the main fixture to look out for, uh, we've got some big ties I would say are Chelsea versus Wolfsburg. Uh, we also have Arsenal versus Barcelona. Uh, so two probably of the biggest ties in this tournament to look out for so far. Um, how it's now different is obviously so the first place in each group would obviously automatically go through and then the second place team in each group will go through into a knockout phase and then I believe that draw will be made uh, once that whole, obviously the whole uh, group stages are done. So the group stages are set to conclude on the 15th and 16th of December this year and the knockout phases will be drawn on the 20th of December. So four days after the final game has uh, finished and that will be for the whole quarterfinal, semi-final and final bracket. And the final this year will be in the Juventus Stadium in Turin, Italy. So it's going to be a very uh, good tournament. Uh, the whole process of getting to this group stage for me was very confusing and um, considering how they've changed it this year to previous years, it was a very confusing format. But it looks like uh, now we're at this group stage, it's quite easy to follow. Um, so it's the 16 teams the two uh, who are split into four groups and the two best teams in each group go forth to a knockout round where they'll be drawn uh, in December after the conclusion of the games and then that will be your knockout stage for the second half of the tournament which will kick off in March 2022. Obviously you got to look at the favourites so current holders Barcelona easily have to be favourites had a cracking start to this season in the Primera Ipadrola and are going to be hungry to keep hold of their title. Then you have a look at last year's runners-up, Chelsea. They will obviously want to be going that one step further than they did uh, last year, losing 4-0 in the final to Barcelona. Can they turn it around this year? Who knows? Then you obviously have to look at Lyon, most successful team in recent years in terms of winning the Champions League. Can they get back on the top of their throne? And then you have to look at other teams as well who could potentially win it. You've got to look at the likes of Bayern Munich, um, PSG all have a good chance Arsenal even have a really good chance with the signings that they've made this summer so it'll be very interesting to see 
uh, how this tournament gets uh, going and who will be the overall winners for this season's Champions League and the inaugural um, Champions League with uh, this group stage still, uh, tournament. And we also know that uh, DAZN will show each group game on their YouTube channel um, it's going to be a very first in uh, UEFA Women's uh, competition and it is definitely going to be a... Excuse me. <coughs> um, it's going to be something that's very good and yeah, it's a really exciting time. <coughs> excuse me. So... Yes, this whole tournament is going to be absolutely cracking and it all gets underway in a few days time. So, like I said at the start of the video, make sure you like and subscribe, turn on post notifications so you never miss a post and follow us on social media as well to keep up to date with all the latest news and stories from the round of women's football and until then, we'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.